Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another video for you guys and today I'm going to show you guys how I customize this wig. So I'm going to show you guys how I customize my lace frontal wigs to make them look more natural. I'm going to show you guys how I tint the lace on this wig and I'm going to show you guys how I cut and style this little wig here. It is a bob season and I wanted to do a nice short cut. So if you want to see how I achieve this, then please continue to watch. Okay, so the hair that I'm using today, it's from I See Hair. This is 100% human hair. This is my first time using their hair, so make sure you check out any reviews on this hair. And I'm gonna go ahead and bleach the knots on my frontal. So I'm using the Clearall BW2 in the Salon Care 30 Developer. I usually don't use the BW2, I usually use the L'Oreal Powder Lightener, but I'm using what I have today. So I put two scoops in this mixing bowl and I pour that cream developer in. Um, you want to make sure that the consistency is a very, very thick, like almost like toothpaste thick. If it's really runny, it's going to ruin the frontal. So this is my frontal and I'm going to apply this all over it. Now I don't do this with my 613 frontal because it is blonde hair, it's already light and I don't need to bleach the knots. With the darker hair, you need to bleach knots or else when you're wearing the wig, you're gonna see the hair looking like little tiny hair plugs. So that's why I bleach the knots on the frontal. And I let the powder lightener sit for about 30 minutes, sometimes 40 minutes, it depends. But I let it sit for about 30 minutes and then I wash the product out off camera. Okay, so I washed it off camera. This is actually the very next day. The wig is already made and finished. Uh, I'm speeding this part up. So I'm gonna show you guys how I customize the wig. So how to make the frontal look more natural. So this is a pre pluck frontal. As you can see, I went in with a water bottle and I wet the hair. It's gonna make it a lot easier for us to tweeze the hair that we don't need. So I'm tweezing it because the hairline, even though it is pre-plucked, it doesn't look very natural when I have it on. It doesn't look like a natural hairline. So I'm gonna part it and go in with my water bottle and then I'm gonna tweeze behind the part. Do not tweeze on the part, okay? This is very important. Don't tweeze on the part, tweeze behind the part. I've tweezed right on the part before and let me tell you, my wigs had a ball spots all over it. And don't tweeze the same exact section over and over. That way you can avoid the ball spots. So I'm gonna go ahead and tweeze the front. So this is how it's looking right now. It's still a little thick. I want it not to be so thick. Again, I want the hairline to look as realistic as possible. So this is that side, the right side is all tweezed and she's looking good. And I'm gonna repeat the same steps on the left side of the hair. So again, tweeze behind the hairline, even at the front, tweeze behind the hairline. That's very important. And make sure you have a good tweezer also. Now, as you can see, I have the wig on because I wanna see how it looks when it's on my head. That way, I also don't wanna over tweeze it. So I usually try my wigs on and then go ahead and tweeze. Now, I know some people um, tweeze the frontal before the wig is completed, but I usually tweeze mine once I'm done making my wig, once the wig is completed. That way I can try it on my head and see how she's looking. All right, she's looking really good. I'm happy with it. So now we're gonna go ahead and tint the lace. So the lace frontal that I'm using, it is a transparent lace, meaning um, it's not, it doesn't have a color to it. So it is a little bit lighter than my skin, but I'd rather work with a transparent lace because I can at least tint it to match my skin. And I'm using a lace tint. So this one is from the Wig Gurus. I really love using their lace tint. The shade that I use is pure beige. They have like four different shades. So definitely check them out if you need to tint the lace. And as you can see, I'm just going in with my blow dryer to dry the product. It's just speeding it up. It can dry on its own, but this is just gonna help to speed it up. Now, as for the transparent lace, I feel like on my skin tone, it looks more natural. Sometimes when I get lace from some companies, the lace is way too dark, and once it's too dark, it's really hard to make it look natural and seamless. So i rather have transparent, that way I can tint it to match perfectly. And to make all of my wigs, I use a dome style mesh cap. I got this from Amazon. You can get it at the beauty supply store. And these are my measurements. So I always measure it before I make it. Um, I already know my measurements because I've made a lot of wigs. Um, I will insert a clip in this video on how to measure your wigs. So this is what the frontal looks like. And I'm just folding it. That way I can apply it centered onto my wig cap. And then I'm going to pull it down and put a hairpin in it 
well, a pin. I'm gonna put a pin in it just to keep it in place. That way I can go ahead and sew this frontal down. I do have more beginner friendly videos on how to make wigs. This video was mainly about how I cut and style this wig and how I customize the frontal. So I'm just gonna go in with my weave needle and thread and start stitching this frontal down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start putting down the tracks onto the cap. So to make this wig, I actually used two bundles of hair and the length is 10 inches and the frontal was actually 12 inches. Now the reason why I got a 10 inches because I honestly guys, I wasn't sure of how short I wanted this hair to be. So I know I wanted a bob, but I wasn't sure how short or how long I wanted it to be. So once I was done making the wig, that's when I decided on the length. So as you can see, I'm literally just stitching that the weft and I am doing the fold over method and like I said before if you are new to my channel you can check out the more beginner friendly wig making videos now once you're done making your wig you're gonna cut off this excess cap because you do not need this anymore it's gonna look weird if you're trying to wear your wig with the cap on it it's gonna look really weird so cut that part off and then what I like to do with the excess cap I'm actually gonna use this as my band in my wig so we're gonna be doing the elastic band method. I always put this in my wig, but I don't always show it on camera because on some days I don't really feel like gluing it down, making it look extra perfect. Sometimes I just wanna throw my wig on my head. So I have this little elastic band thing in there and it just keeps the wig on my head secure. Now, I do think my wigs look a lot more flawless and more natural when I glue them down, but this is just on days when I'm a little lazy and I don't wanna do all that. So this is what she's looking like now. Um, I've already tweezed the hair, I've already tinted it, I already showed you guys that part in the beginning of the video. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut the hair. I am no expert, I am no professional, but we're gonna try it out today, okay? Now, I think for me, because I have no idea what I'm doing, it, it was a lot easier to cut this on my head first. That way I have an idea of how short or how long I wanted this wig to be. When I do it on my mannequin head, I find that it's a little bit harder for me to figure out how short or how long I want it to be um, starting at the front. So this way was a lot easier. And obviously the length is optional, it's whatever your preference is. So I went ahead and cut some more of the front because I wanted it to be a lot shorter. I wanted it to be a little different from what I'm used to. You guys know I'm used to wearing the inches, but you know what, I'm really feeling the short hair. And I love short hair, especially for summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on my mannequin head because I need to cut the back and I can't see the back of it when it's on my head. So now I know exactly how short I want it to be. I'm just gonna go in with my scissors and start chopping away. Now I know it doesn't look perfect, it's a little choppy, but I'm gonna fix that, don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. Now I will say with this hair, um, the quality felt amazing, like stiff wear. However, I find that the frontal, the hair on the frontal felt a little bit more dry but I was still able to work with it. I already went ahead and straightened the hair, by the way, so it's already straightened, blowed out and straightened. Now I'm gonna go in with my shearing comb. Is that what you call it, shearing comb? And I'm gonna go ahead and start thinning out the bottom of the hair because there's a lot of volume on the bottom, so we're just gonna cut out some of that volume, that way it's not thick and bulky, because it's a bob. She needs to be like, she needs to be laid. She doesn't need to be bulky on the bottom. Is it weird when I say she? So I keep calling my wig she. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with the shaver and just perfect that cut a little bit more so it looks nice and neat. And again, I am no professional, okay? But your girl is trying. I think I get better and better with the wig, so. But yeah, this is pretty much the finished wig. She looks cute. I'm feeling the length. So this is how the wig looks when she is on. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. This frontal blend into my skin perfectly. And I'm just gonna go in with my flat iron and just straighten that hair. Um, the only products that I use is the Ion Hair Serum. I love this wig, I love how it turned out. And as for my makeup in this video, guys, my friend Aiden actually did my makeup because we are, he's gonna be doing my makeup for my wedding, so we did a whole bunch of different makeup looks for my trial, and this was one of the looks. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you guys. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy and comment down below and let me know what you guys wanna see next. I will see you in another video very, very soon. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching.